Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Another beautiful sunny day out here in the wonderful world of Canada. And today Freewell has sent me variable ND filters for the Osmo Action and the Osmo Pocket. Now, what I'm going to do in this video, since I don't want to make it boring like a lot of ND filter videos, is I'm going to explain how this works and then I'm going to give you some examples of uh, using these filters. So here we go. Let's start off with the Osmo Pocket. I haven't used this in like six, eight, nine months because I bought it professional cameras like the one filming me now. So I don't really use this too much anymore, but I'm going to use it today with the Freewell ND variable filters and show you exactly how you can make them work for you in your favor. Here we go. First thing to do is tear into the box. I brought a knife this time because Freewell, I don't know what they do with their boxes here. They're so hard to get into. Get it open. Freewell should get into the business of making safes because their boxes are so hard to open it's like it's like they've got gold in here well it is kind of gold all right so if you've never bought freewell filters they are the top of the line so because they're the top of the line they give you a very nice case filters are really good and they give you some extra goodies and i'll show you that really quick now this doesn't just apply for the osmo pocket it applies for all freewell filters so i'm not going to show you with the osmo action but you get the freewell stickers you get lifetime warranty cards and you get a little guide about all their filters and freewell likes to give you these plastic magnetic cases which i'll put over here so the sun can capture it so you have like a two to five and a six to nine variable nd stop so that's like having you know your nd4 all the way up to nd16 and then go from there up to 64 it's pretty decent it saves you a lot of money buying it this way especially if you're someone who doesn't buy a lot of nd filters and you just want to buy two just bring two with you vice a pile of them then this is a good option all right so my osmo pockets right here and i'm going to get it on my face and i'll switch over to the osmo pocket and there i am wow you look great mr captain drone so that's filming with the osmo pocket you can see it probably looks a bit little bit different because the shutter in here is going nuts because of the bright sun that's coming up there there is no aperture in here that is controllable so you know how it's bright out and you squint like this because the sun's so bright well that's what a professional camera does like this one here the aperture in it will just you know go small or go wide depends on the light and it doesn't go nuts with the shutter so you get a really good image but on these lower budget cameras like the osmo pocket osmo action any action cameras and these things there is no such thing the aperture is just wide open all the time so it's like coming out of the optometrist's office they put the drops in your eyes and your eyes are wide open and that's what it's like so you kind of need a filter on it so i'm going to put a filter on it right now and show you the difference so my camera's still on here here's the filter it's just magnetic it just flicks onto the front there we go it should be on so it's on me now and now the nd filter's on it does that look better probably does right you know because it's the eyeball isn't so wide open well probably still is but now you've got sunglasses over it and that's what your nd variable filters do and if i spin it uh let's see what it looks like oh i see it up there so it's like at five stops and you can reduce it i can turn that dial and reduce the variable filter to make it less so pretty darn cool here let me put the one that goes way up to super darkness check this out so this one's maxed out i've put it at nine stops this is like crazy darkness pull that back again and uh, so there we go that's probably a bit dark probably looks like a horror movie you would never use something like this on the osmo pocket like i've got it on the max that is dark that's like the darkest sunglass i'm amazed it's even working but you'd never use this on the osmo pocket unless you're going to take a photo like a long exposure photo then use that say you wanted to take a photo of waterfall water coming down put this filter on take a photo leave the shutter open for a while and you'll get that beautiful silky water looking waterfall all right i don't know if i can do this i'm gonna turn this dial and i'm turning it down to a sixth do you see a change i had my finger on the uh the gimbal hopefully i didn't wreck it but now it's at uh six stops which is much better probably a lot better than when i had it on nine stops all right the next thing i'll show you with the osmo pocket is motion blur by putting a filter on the front so if you are moving well then if you have the osmo pocket and you are moving and you put an nd filter with a lot of stops on the front of the lens well then everything's going to look nice and blurry coming at you but anything that's not moving like things in the front that you're heading towards will stay perfectly in focus that's awesome that's just because the shutter is really slowing down with these dark 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 sunglasses on the front so if the shutter is slowing down everything looks like a blur going in front of it the only things that look sharp and focus is what's not moving
And now we're going to take a look at the Osmo Action and the Freewell ND variable filter for it. And I'm going to show you some motion blur with the Osmo Action and this here filter set. Same idea in the box. You get the Freewell stickers, the lifetime warranty, and a bunch of little pamphlets. And you get the nice little jewel case with your two filters inside, which are variable. There's a close look at the filters. Hopefully that's in focus. All right. Hopefully you can see this here. So on the edge of the filter, you can see I can spin it. There's all your stops right there. This here lens just screws off and you put the freewell filter in place. So I take that right off, left with that. Freewell filter goes on, just screws right on. Using your display in the back, you can actually stand there, turn this on and spin the filter and you'll actually see the difference of what you're trying to do. So my plan is I brought one of my FPV quads and I'm gonna fly the Osmo Action without the filter, nice and low to the ground, in and around things, and then I'll fly pretty much the same path and I'll put the filter on and I'll crank up the stops to five stops and do the same thing. What you should see, this is what you should see. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but you should see it because it's an action camera, is when I fly without the filter at 4K 30 frames per second, it should look really good. But the shutter is moving really, really fast. So when I put the five stops of you know ND filter on it to shut down the light coming in by five stops, then all of a sudden the shutter in the Osmo action doesn't move so fast. So as this is cruising through the air, the shutter is only opening every now and then pretty slow. So what happens is it can't make everything look as awesome and in focus as it wants to. So things in the distance are going to look perfectly in focus. But things close to the ground are just going to be coming at you and look like a big blur. And that's called cinema motion blur. And that's what everybody wants when they fly drones. All right, let's go try that out. And this brings me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the Osmo Action and the Osmo Pocket using Freewell ND variable filters and you found the images pleasing to your eyes, well then you probably want to buy them. So I'm going to put these cameras down and then I'm going to take my fingers and point my fingers down and say check the links below this video to where you can find them. They're on the Amazon website. I do not know how much they cost because I don't run Amazon stores and I'm not a distributor. So check them out. But if you have questions on this video, the free will filters, say I confused the heck out of you, well then post your questions below and I will get back to you with an answer. But for now I say thanks for watching this video. The sun's going down. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in a future video with many more reviews. Take care. Thank you.